Hey there, folks. Welcome to your Herald Bulldog Report. I'm Managing Editor Matt Lindberg. With me are Sports Editor Nick Carey and Staff Writer Aaron Carson. We're getting you set for Thursday's edition of the Daily Herald. Uh, now it's at halfway point in the week, but we've got plenty going on. Uh, Aaron, you've been working on a series for the paper uh, for the past couple weeks now. It's going to debut tomorrow, uh, Thursday. Can you uh, tell folks a little bit about it? Definitely. I'm really excited about it. I've been able to speak to a number of people in the area about building a healthy child and what really goes into into that development and how it can affect not just the parents and the family, but the entire community. So I'm excited to get that going. And like you said, it'll debut in Thursday's edition. Now, can you just, who are some of the folks you, you spoke with? I spoke to Norma Merriman. She's been in social services uh, for a number of years and had a lot of insight um, also, Magda from Sp Smart Start um, and a Positive Parenting Program. So, a lot of people who work with children on a daily basis and, and know a lot about the development. Okay. And uh, I heard there's an update about a, a murder case that uh, relates to last summer. That's right. Um, the three suspects from one of the murders in Weldon last summer were in court, um, and I, I followed up on that, and we'll have details in tomorrow's paper. Okay. Now, Nick, uh, a lot of sports action going mm -hmm. on, specifically at Halifax Academy. Uh, what can you tell everybody? Yeah, three games tomorrow night at Halifax Academy will be soccer, baseball, and softball. Um, kind of mainly looking at soccer, they won 14 straight and be going for 15 tomorrow, so um, it could be an interesting story there. Okay. And Ronald Rapids, I think you said there's going Yeah, on. they'll have a, another um, a home soccer match for them as well, so we'll you know, also take a look at that. Okay. Well, that's all we have today, folks. We'll have these stories and more inside Thursday's edition. Be sure to check it out.